Republic of Egypt, a beautiful country known for its famous historical monuments such as the Great Sphinx and the Pyramid, which are among the seven wonders of the world and acknowledged as the oldest monumental sculpture in Egypt. Egypt is one of the places in the world that you know all over the Bible you see Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Egypt is a wonderful place, beautiful. A part of it was a little bit more developed than I thought. With a lot of historical places, a good network of roads, civilization in general, I think they have done well for themselves in Egypt. The Egyptians speak Arabic and little English. They have a very, very good nightlife. <laughs> they sleep around 4 a.m. The people, they are so warm, especially to foreigners. They are very warm people. Recently, the Arab Republic of Egypt experienced an uprising of political crisis that led to the change of government. It's no coincidence that at this critical time the nation of Egypt received partners of Rhapsody of Realities from Nigeria who went as missionaries to reach out to the country with God's word, the only solution to the problems of the world. And that's what the Rhapsody of Realities mission strip is all about, reaching out to the nations of the world with the word of God as contained in the messenger angel, Rhapsody of Realities. Welcome to Rhapsody Travels. This is River Nile here in Egypt. Partners of Rhapsody of Realities are here on an evangelical mission trip. So much is happening, so sit back and be inspired by every bit of this great partnership exploit. I'm Kendall Chauki and you are watching Rhapsody Travels. Stay tuned. The whole world needs Jesus. The whole world needs the gospel because of the gospel there's a chance for the less privileged and displaced there's a chance for everyone little children and displaced families because a rhapsody of realities the smiles on the faces of the people rhapsody of realities mission outreach an opportunity to bring to nations a message of hope joy and love.
Egypt is a country mainly in North Africa bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, the Gaza Strip and Israel to the northeast, the Red Sea to the east, Sudan to the south and Libya to the west. Egypt is one of the most populous countries in Africa and the Middle East having an estimated population of about 80 million people who live near the banks of the Nile River which occupies an area of about 40,000 square kilometers. Rhapsody of Realities, The Messenger Angel, is changing lives in Egypt and partners went on to reach out to Egyptians with God's word contained in the Arabic translation of Rhapsody of Realities and also donating relief items to the needy as they went from place to place, city to city on the Rhapsody missionary journey to the Arabic nation of Egypt. The missionary journey started out in El Salam City, a Muslim-dominated area, where partners went out to distribute free copies of their Arabic translation of Rhapsody of Realities. The people excitedly received God's Word contained in the devotional and were eager to know more about Rhapsody of Realities, and they willingly gave their hearts to Christ. This is Cairo, Egypt. And uh, we are in a mission trip here to distribute our messenger angel to the wonderful people of Egypt. Right now we are in um, a suburb in Cairo and uh, the people are already excited. They are already looking out from their houses, from their shops and there seems to be a lot of excitement here already. And I know that our expectation concerning this uh, city will not be cut short as people are already expectant. I want to say a wonderful thank you to Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita for the opportunity given to us to use the messenger angel to transform the lives of people. I bet you uh, Egypt will never remain the same, not after this visitation by our messenger angel, Russell Dior Reality. to Es Salaam City for free distribution of Rhapsody of Realities and when we got there we started distributing Rhapsodies. What we saw actually was very impressive and very inspiring because a lot of people wanted that Rhapsody from us. You know people were watching for the Rhapsody, men, women, children coming out to meet us on the streets. After a while the whole of that city got charged up. At a time there were some group of children as cars and all those um, cats were coming on the road, they would stop them and compare them to listen to us. We're sharing rhapsodies, you know, that way and all that. It was so, it was so exciting, it was so mind-blowing. We saw people looking out from the fourth floors of the houses, fifth floors, third floors, especially women in Puda. And they were so interested that they were dropping baskets from upstairs for us to put rhapsodies in them. Over 20 people gave their lives to Christ instantly. Father, thank you for your word. I come to you in the name of Jesus. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Master, Lord and Savior. I declare that I am saved. I receive him into my heart as my Lord. I'm a Christian now. I'm born again. And I'm
However, the Islamic religious folks in this community could not contain the widespread of the gospel of Christ and therefore took to persecuting the partners, stoning them for declaring openly the gospel of Christ. We influenced that city with rhapsody. We distributed rhapsody everywhere to the point that um, they, got their, they, they got the attention of the, the Muslims and they went to get their, call their leaders. Their leaders came and got angry with us. They got together and they came after us. First, they asked us to leave the city and then we, still, we persisted. We were still sharing our rhapsodies. We didn't want to listen to them. All of a sudden, they, we, we saw a group of people, you know, they, they came to some of us, we, you know, they were arguing and, and they, our guards literally told us to uh, run into a house. Why in that place, a lot of things were happening. At one point, they came to where we were and started throwing stones. They even broke the bus we came in through, they broke the glass of the bus. <laughs> the Spirit of God took over because we were just inside, calm, because we know that this trip is orchestrated of the Spirit. Suddenly, we became so bold. You know, when you are already in a trip, you see danger, you already know that the end is good, so there's no need to be afraid. It dawned on me that what I've been reading in the Bible as persecutions and all that, they are real and as real today as it has always been, you know, and the Bible became more alive to me. I was excited for the first time to be persecuted openly. And I can put myself into the place of persecution and understand what it means to be persecuted as a Christian. The Holy Spirit, you know, protected us all the way because nothing, nobody, nothing touched us. We, were, we just moved, carried in the winds of the Spirit to where we were and of course when we got back to our you know our accommodation we prayed we spoke in tongues we we thank god because we know we have um, made impact the capital city of Ethiopia. We are excited that the Rhapsody of Realities has come to Victoria Falls. And we believe that lives will never remain the same again. South Africa is a blessed nation because the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is growing richly and spreading like wildfire. We are in the center of Frankfurt. Today is a very special day. It is a nice day. It is warm. Right now we are at Brentford train station. We're giving out the Rhapsody of Realities, the Ministry Angel, to everybody. We're changing lives. Today we are going to show you some of the great testimonies that has happened here in people's lives because of Rhapsody of Realities. Absolutely mind-blowing. We're spreading the word. We're doing the word of God. We're doing our best for everybody. Join us. 